So I'm leaving the house because my mom said that she doesn't fucking love me anymore. That's not and even what I said. What'd you say? I said you're too old for an Easter basket. That's the same fucking thing. Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your right chair extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber driver is here, guys. Thank you. Thank you. You guys, you already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in. And let's go. Yeah! Okay. Okay. Party people, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel... Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. All right, Ken, folks, what are we talking about today, folks? Man, oh, man. So we have a clip of Mr. Loverboy, Nathan Wade. He was doing an interview on CNN, and he was asked a simple question, and it fell apart. It got so bad that his handlers had to come in and disrupt the whole interview and whisper in his ear, and his whole demeanor changed. Let's take a look. What is your current relationship with the district attorney? Oh, just as outlined uh, earlier, we are great friends. We, we speak regularly. Um, you know, the conversation has changed, though. You know, whereas before we're, our conversations were about this case, um, you could, I'm sure you could imagine and appreciate the amount of time that it takes that, you know, you have to pour into uh, a case uh, trying to uh, a case of this magnitude trying to prosecute those defendants but um, our conversations have shifted to um, how are you how are you handling uh, the the threats that are coming your way are you being safe um, and you know democracy w w the case will live on kind of thing just to clarify when did the re romantic relationship between the two of you start yeah, so, you know, we get into, there's been this effort to, 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 to say that, okay, these, these exact dates are, 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 are at issue and these exact dates are, I'm getting, I'm getting signaled here. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait a minute, here's the part, he's being signaled. Do I go off mic for a second? Yes. Okay. Oh my God. Keep rolling. Yeah, keep rolling. Don't stop that. What are y'all talking about there? What are you saying? What is he saying? Okay. <laughs> is everything okay, Mr. Wade? Everything okay? Yeah. Just to revisit the question, it was to clarify when the romantic relationship started oh and God. when it ended. Sure. So, you know, I believe that the, the public has, um, through, uh, through the testimony and other uh, interviews, the public has a, a, a clear snapshot that this is clearly just a distraction. Um, it is not a, a relevant issue in this case, and I think that we should be focusing on uh, more of the facts and the indictment in the case. Well, I ask because obviously this is it's still a pending matter. It's going to be before the Court of Appeals. And you talked about how proud you were of all the work that, that you did in this office. And I think the question that people have when they hear from the Court of Appeals, this isn't happening until next spring, is did the relationship jeopardize that work that you did in this investigation? And, and therein lies the issue. Um, why we wouldn't touch upon the, the work of the Court of Appeals or some higher court because it's a pending issue before them. I think that we should allow them to take a, a step back and allow them to take the evidence that they have um, and, and do their work, make the decision. Right, but you did testify to this and you were asked about, on the stand about when it started and when it ended. 
it just wasn't completely clear because before it said before the indictment, which was August 15th here in Atlanta, and then later the answer was at the end of, of that year. And so I think that was the, the clarity that people were seeking of, of when it started and when it ended. Sure. And uh, there again, there's a, there's a question before the court. Um, and that is the crux of the question. I, I don't choose to say or do anything that would jeopardize um, the case or the court's ruling. I prefer to allow them to make their decision based upon what they have um, and, and, and accept it. Do you believe, as you reflect on this, that your relationship with the district attorney was a mistake? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What I believe is this whole conversation is a distraction. That's all. It's a, it's a tool to, to stop the train, to slow down the inevitable, which is um, the trial of the defendants named in the election interference case. Do you believe the trial ultimately happens? Absolutely. Absolutely it happens. Mr. Wade, thank you for your time today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. <laughs> this guy is sure confident that this trial is going to continue. This guy, he's not, he's not subscribed to my channel because everybody knows that this shit is dead in the water. But hey, he's got to say what you got to say. You know, he's, it's looking pretty bad for him too. You see how his whole demeanor changed as soon as his handler came and whispered in his ear and his, the questioning changed. In the beginning, he was jovial. He was ready to answer. Oh yeah, me and my girl, we still talk. We, we, uh, we talk about the case and we boo up every now. He was all, and then the handler came in and straightened that shit out. And man, you can't say that. And he comes in with the same old lawyer answers, you know. <laughs> what happened to transparency? What happened is revealing the truth. Golly. Fanny Willis, you sure know how to run it, boy. You are, you're something else. Man, oh man. Well, guys, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Just want to show you what it takes to be on Fonnie Willis team. You gotta play ball. <laughs> anyway, that's the thought for the day. If you guys got any value out of my content, do me a favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. You see that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, guys, I'll see you again. And all you lawyers, get your ass off my lawn. Yeah.